Hello everybody, Pokemon Trainer Rob here. Welcome back to the Pokemon Stadium playthrough. Today we're going to be fighting the 8th and final gym leader of Kanto, Giovanni. And let's get us started. Also, for those of you wondering why I'm calling him Giovanni as opposed to Giovanni, uh, Giovanni is actually how you say his name. It's an Italian name and that's how it's pronounced. I think that, uh, in the English language, they've made it so that pronunciation's okay, but technically, no, it's supposed to be Giovanni. A little bit of, uh, fact and history for you guys, I suppose. Okay, so we have Golbat, Cat Act, I guess Raticate, uh, Persian, Moltres, Dodrio, and Parasect. Not liking the look of that Moltres, but I can't freak out about that. I gotta keep my eyes focused on the prize. This is a very interesting team up. Very weird, very variety type of team. It seems like every member of my team has a weakness to something in this team, so. Huh. Gotta give them some credit. They're actually kind of proving to be a challenge here. Uh, let's see. Uh. I do like Sunnyside, but not for the flying types. Swim Kirby looks good for the normal types and Moltres. Marowak it almost... well no, Marowak, there's lots of flying, that won't really work. Yeah, my god, this is not a very good matchup here. Uh, I'm actually going to start with Kitty, believe it or not. Uh, we'll go ahead and bring Helmarok. Helmarok's been pretty good. And I guess I'll just bring Swing Kirby as backup. I hope that doesn't screw me over if I get caught with that Parasect, but... I don't know, this was a very weird team fight. And of course, we start with Moltres. Let's see. Maybe we can paralyze it if we're lucky. Thankfully, Moltres is not that great of a Pokemon. It's probably the worst of the original three legendary birds. So maybe we can uh, make something happen. The fact that it used Toxic right there is pretty good for us. What now? And I can switch out if uh, something bad's going to happen. Okay, I decided to fly. I believe it's time for him to fly. Yeah, we'll switch to Helmarok then. <clears throat> Take someone to cushion the blow, I guess. This is why I kind of wish I had a rock and ground type, because those are always good to switch in for moves like Fly. Especially Fly, because of their resistance to it. Uh, Double Edge, Drill Pack, they'll probably take Double Edge a little better. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Helmarok. I believe Helmarok actually kind of put me in a good position to win this. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay, I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. Uh, drill pack, definitely. Helmarok is hungry for mushroom. Yes, it's a one hit wonder. How wonderful. Okay, gold. Yeah, this is. You know, I think those normal types that he had would actually be a lot more dangerous than some of these other types he's brought. Okay, well there we go. That's the, uh, that's the end of, uh, Rocket. Also, that's a very blue Golbat. That Golbat was very, very blue. I've never seen a Golbat that blue before. Okay, next we have a Lab Man. Lab Man, I believe, has Poison, Fire... Actually, no, kind of a weird combo. 
Uh, I do see fighting, though. Two fighting. I see electric... Well, you know what? At the end of the day, there's really only one Pokemon I can think of that'd be good for this, and, uh... Hi, Sunnyside. As for the others, let's see... Not really Mega. Not Kitty. Helmarok would be a good backup, I agree. And... Yes, would be tough. Just gotta keep Wigglytuff away from those uh, fighting types. But that should not be a problem. Okay, let's start with Psychic. That's a good way to start. Oh no, don't you di no. I am not dealing with that again. <laughs> not after what I dealt with in Ultra Ball, no way in hell. Thank you. Thank god I got him before that took any longer. Freaking double team, man. Which Pokemon is coming out? Chan Mon. Hello, Chan Mon. How will the type difference Die, Chan Mon. <laughs> oh, not you too. This is like the equivalent of the uh, person I fought in Ultra Ball. Well, too bad. I don't feel like dealing with that crap, so you can just GTFO. A okay, please don't be that Fero, because that would be annoying to finish off. Okay, good. Now watch, it's going to use double team. I can already tell. <laughs> oh, okay, good. Well, hold on. we got to wait and see if I can actually kill it in one shot first. Okay, now, there we go. Thank God I avoided another one of those double team matchups, which are just stupid. I mean, I get it, it's a viable strategy, it makes sense. If you have that ability, you should be using it. But, I don't know, it just. It really takes the fun out. I, I can't even see how people who use that strategy would have fun with that. Maybe watching the other people being in agony while it happens, maybe that's the fun, but... I don't know, I don't like that, personally. Uh, let's see... Amastar, Dodrio, Tentacruel, Clefable, Zapdos, and Pinsor. This is gonna be a tough one. I mean, really, some of these types are very weird. Um... Definitely Sunnyside and Helmrock. Oh, I'm really worried about some of those other ones, though. Because this, this could be a bad fight. This really could be. I mean, it's a very, very varied team. Swim Kirby, definitely a no. Kitty, as much as I would like to take Kitty. Kitty might not be a bad idea, though, because you'd get an advantage over Pinsir. And you'd also be able to do stuff to the Flying types and the Clefable. Just gotta watch out for the Water types. Water, water types, Sunny Side, I think would be the best. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I am going to start out with Kitty, I am going to bring Sunnyside, and I guess I'll also bring Helmrock too. That, that seems like that might be my best move here. Here's the third trainer battle with only the gym leader left after this. 
Okay, good. Okay, I'm liking this so far. Great start, great start. Is, no, no, not fire spin. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. <laughs> oh, figured. You know what, though? That's okay. That's okay. This way I can strategize. Plus, I also know one of the Pokemon that he has. See, this is good. This is how it works. I was actually kind of hoping that something like that would come from... Uh... Oh, God, no. Not Rap Hacks. Not Rap Hacks. It's not going to do very much damage, but... Oh, God, not Rap Hacks. Really? Tentacruel is faster? Oh, I guess I can see it. I can see it. Squid moving faster, or a jellyfish. Squid, jellyfish, whatever the hell it's supposed to be. I can see that moving faster than a giant coconut tree. Oh. Okay. That was a bit of a stupid move, not gonna lie, but... I'll take it. It helps me out in the end. There's a big difference in HP. Oh, it's gonna use this again. What's that? Thank you, thank you, thank you. I freaking hate rap packs, I swear. Rap packs is everything that's wrong with this world, I swear. It is. It's the truth. It's a terrible thing. Fable Star. You did not pick your legendary bird, perhaps the best legendary bird of Gen 1. You picked Clefable and Pinsir over Zapdos. And you're gonna... Ah, you're small. Um, who's the third one he picked? Oh, right, yeah, Tentacool. I can't really see the brilliance in this guy's plan. He's supposed to be a lab man, but... He's supposed to look at... He's supposed to work in a laboratory, yet he's treating this like a first-grade science project. Okay, I'm not going to be able to do much damage to this thing, so I'm almost thinking of just switching out. I might as well lower its special first, though. Oh, it's going to do this. Oh, it's going to miss first, obviously. Can't forget about that important part. Wow. For a bug, Psychic did a lot. <laughs> You know what, you can have your fun. There's a big difference in HP. I really just want to end this. They go into battle post. Here's a Pokemon thing. Okay, Kitty, you actually played a very big part in this fight. I am proud of you. How will this Kitty frickin' saved my life. Again. Running joke between us. But my god. My god, if I didn't have her to actually scope out what this team was, I would have been doomed. I would have picked all the wrong Pokemon and I would not have been able to get through that. Okay, well. There we go. That's it for. Oh, that's the cool trainer. I thought that was the lab man. I guess I was wrong. Anyway, Giovanni is left. Okay, he has his traditional team of mostly ground types. He also has a Persian and a Tauros. That's kind of scary. But I can't overthink this. 
I'm just going to take Sunnyside in as my starter. I'm going to bring Swim Kirby to back it up, and as for my final type... Hmm. What should my final type be? Mega would be theoretically good. It's between Mega and Helmarok. Helmarok has been my saving grace through Gym Leader Castle. I'm going to stick with Mega, though. Just because there's a greater possibility of him using all ground types, so... I need something that's going to be good against that. And Okay, Persian. Persian can be a problem. Persian's fast, and Persian has good special, I think. Here's the first move. Basically, if you put uh, special attacks in the hands of Persian, Savage you know, I'm not going to say that you're going to be doomed, but, you know, for a normal type, it's pretty good. One is so far, I am liking the way this is going. I wish I would stop using Slash, but... I doubt I'm going to get it in the stop. I really hope he brings... Oh, no, I don't have Hellrock, so I can't do that. I was getting ready to say, I hope he brings out Dig Doug Trio next, so if he uses Dig, I can fly away, but... Nope, not going to be that easy. But... This is going to be easy. The Pokemon are entirely different types. Nita, Nita Queen is faster than... I swear, some of these speed matchups are just really weird to me. I know in the past, because I was paralyzed, so some Pokemon that, that wouldn't be able to outspeed me, outsped me, but in this case... God. Looking at Nita Queen. Well, what do you have left? Do you have that Tauros... Right on, okay. Well, I'm going to be very blunt with you, Giovanni. You're kind of screwed. Right on really isn't that great. At least in my opinion, anyway. I don't know, it might have some, you know, some strength that I'm not unaware of. But I don't know, I always like Golem better just in my own personal opinion. But there we go, that's uh, it for Giovanni. He did not put up much of a fight. And with that, we've gotten all the gym badges, which means we can actually challenge the Elite Four. That is essentially the next stop on our journey of Gym Leader Castle, but as you might have figured out, we're not going to be doing that next. We're going to be going back to Pokemon Stadium and taking on the Master Ball class. And once we do that, we'll come back to Gym Leader and uh, finish up the rest of that, and then we'll be done. So, next time, hope you guys are ready for Master Ball. It's going to be a tough one. This has been Pokemon Trainer Rob, and I'll see you guys next time. Later, folks.